go to the FMC, and I'm going to go to menu, and I'm going to go to PMDG setup, and I'm going to do state load, and I'm just going to I'm going to go cold and dark. So cold and dark, execute. Yeah, disable WSD and A and, and the arrows as well. Okay, yeah, I need to do that. I think I understand now. I think I have a better understanding of how to do free view now. So thank you. That's why I'm here. That's the whole reason I'm here. Is you guys are teaching me. <laughs> yeah, you need to remove the assignments. Okay, Sferil. Perfect. Yeah, SSR1, I think that uh, I appreciate that. I, I Like I say, there was a couple other people I was that may be coming on The Voice, uh, but I will definitely... Uh, are you on my Discord? Let me know if you're on my Discord. But I, I'm not going to do it quite yet. You recently spent a few weeks on prepared. Okay, so you, so you're rocking both then. You're you're hybrid. We got a sub crime. And I thought we were friends. It's like I don't even know you anymore. We got a sub crime. Happy eleven months, anniversary. Happy 11 months. I know when I when I met you, when I met you Marcus, I was on this simulator and you, my friend, converted me to X-Plane 11. And so I blame you and Mr. Gibbs for my indoctrination indoctrination into the X-Plane 11 world. And I will forever forever love you for that. I I, I probably won't say this more than like 17 times today, but honestly, I'll probably be rocking X plane 80, 82% of the time, right? 80, 82% of the time. Sorry if I missed a few other people at red Raider. Hello. Any new game sim take, uh, takes a while to get. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I think you can type, I think you can type an exclamation discord SSR one. All right. So let's just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to get my MCP panel going. And we're gonna try to do a flight. I'm gonna try to get airborne in this in this plane. I was I was really, I was really. Uh, let me get let me get the second camera going here. Oh, that second camera is kind of weird. Uh, I was really inspired by Chewy. You know, playing, doing the Zebo. Thank you for the sub cry, Marcus. Thank you for the 11 months. All right, I'm gonna move the camera here. Red Red Raider with the we sub cry. Oh, we crap. got a Months. sub cry. Looks like you're cheating on X plane, but it'll give you a pass. Red Raider with the sub cry. <laughs> I just accidentally kicked out my uh, second webcam. Bear with me. Red Raider with the sub cry. Thank you for the five months. I I know we I am. We got a sub cry. Cheating. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I we gotta, got a sub cry. Set up this cam. Oh, hopefully it doesn't crash anything. We got a sub crab. I got, we got a sub crab. I got too many cables. Thank you again, Red Raider, for the sub crab. I appreciate that. All right, let's get that second cam going. Because the reason I want to get the second cam going is because um, that's uh, because it, uh, bear with me. I want you guys to see the MCP panel working. That's a pretty, I think that's a, that'll work for now. I think that'll work. So we'll move that down here into the corner. I 
we'll move that John Fly logo up there to subliminal area. And I think I'll go full screen again. Yeah, have already spent a fortune on X-Plane and probably wouldn't survive the wrath of my wife if I did the same with P3D. It is so expensive. I can't believe it. I actually need to, I probably need to put up a dono goal just so I don't have to, I can feed my family still. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the GoFlight interface tool um, for P3D. Uh, and hopefully this MCP panel works. I'm really hoping that it works. So I'm going to launch that program. And as you can see down here, it's lit up, so it might be working. But the, the plane is in a cold and dark state, so we'll get it uh, we'll get it going. He only has 10 terabytes of ortho to redo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is an overreaction. Yep. All right. So okay. You know, I'm, ironically, I'm going to use my Zebo checklist for this plane and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's let's do fuel first. In fact, let's do uh, let's do Project Fly. Actually, now that I think about it, so we'll bring up uh, Sims uh, Simstall. There's a program to build overlays. So you're lucky I have a link. There you go. Yeah, I had a problem with Las Vegas, so I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely need some help. Okay, make a booking. So over here on this screen, we'll go, this is Project Fly. I'm gonna select an aircraft. Uh, we're flying the seven three November 572 Delta Zulu. Uh, we'll do it offline because I don't trust my skills yet for Pilot Edge, but maybe we'll jump on Pilot Edge in a, in a, in a, in a little bit after some testing. So we're gonna go from KJAC to KSLC. And we're Delta five seven five seven two. We'll create the booking. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, my Vegas is jacked up. There's a the, the I try. There's a conflict between Orbex, SoCal, and, and FS Dream Teams Las Vegas. And I know that I know the about the fix. I tried the fix and it didn't work for me. But I think it had to do with the. Uh, I don't think I did one last final step that they didn't tell me to do, and that was order. You have to use this uh, o scenery editor to, o to. It's like your scenery I and I in X Plane, but it's the P3D version of it. All right, so we're going from KJAC to KSLC. <clears throat> we're going to dispatch via SIM brief. Uh, yeah, go. Log in. I did. I got payware, Salt Lake City. Yep. Backwards Dirty just got back from Vegas. Okay, so it did give me a route. It gave oh, it gave me Kickney LHO Nordic Five. Perfect. So I could export the flight plan, couldn't I? To like PMDG flight plan, or do I do PMDG wind uplink? What's that? Yes, I, I got PAX him. And I'm going to tell you right now, SS Air 1, uh, that installation of that Salt Lake City is the worst installation I've ever experienced with an airport scenery. The fact that you have to download four different things separately and you have to e they have to email you a link every time, it's an absolute... Uh, that's crazy. They, you should buy it, download it. Done. They're coming out with Reno, I guess, next. So, uh, hey, Flying Jackal. How you doing, Jack? You're going to unsub? Dang it. Uh, I think, uh, I think that this, I think actually, 
Jack, I actually think this is a good thing. And I'm going to tell you why. This is a good thing because we're going to bring everyone over from the P3D world. And they're going to be able to compare the two right here on my stream on occasion. <laughs> good morning, Jack. I'm excited for your 732. Hopefully, you'll still let me fly that. Uh, PMDG flight plan. All right, I guess I'll just download that. I don't know if I'm going to actually... I'll probably manually do the... Uh, I'll probably probably manually do the uh, FMC programming. Okay, so Project Fly is set up. Is Project Fly bot in the room? I wonder. Can you can someone type in exclamation um, uh, root maybe? All right, I'm gonna click Fly now. Let's make this. Yeah, that's all correct. Okay, Fly now. Ready to depart. All right, perfect. My block fuel today is going to be Okay, yeah. So here's here's the block fuel today. It's going to be uh 10,190 10,190. Oh, good. Project Fly is working. Good, 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 good. Buffy McMuffy, hello. All right. So with that being said, we'll come up to the overhead here. We'll turn the battery on. We'll close the guard. I probably need to get some sounds going on here. Uh, options, general, sound. I don't know if I want too much sound, but. And then there's also sounds in the FMC, but all right, so uh, PMDG setup. No, I don't want aircraft. I want, uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, FS actions. There we go. Fuel. All right, block fuel I said was. Ten one ninety. So we'll just round it up to 11. So 11,000. And how many people do we have on board? 109 right now? 109. So we'll go payload 109 in coach. Seven in first class. That's fine. Uh, we'll close that door for right now. Okay, so fuel's loaded. Yeah. How you doing, Buffy? All right, so uh, that is set. So let's grab my handy-dandy checklist. I love the fact that the uh, MCP panel may work. That's really cool. Okay, so there, there's a few differences between this and the Zebo. Oh, my HUD came down. All right, so the battery's on. So cabin utility power and passenger power is already on by default. Um, I already noticed a different thing between the Zebo and this, and and I'll talk about when I program the FMC. But there's definitely some big differences between this plane and uh, and the Zebo. Okay, so if I hit this to nav. And then we come down to here and we go position light is already on steady. Okay, so position light is steady. On by D. Hey, Vision Byte, how you doing? 
position. I don't see. Let's do passenger sign. Or yeah. How come I'm not getting any sound? That's interesting. I'm not getting any sound. Oh, I think I know why. No, that should work. You guys need to have sounds, right? All right, so just one second. Uh, properties. All right, so that's that's working. That's working. You're doing the SSG Atlanta, Toronto. Nice. Are you, Toronto Payware or? Okay, let's try this. Bear with me as I configure this sound card. For some reason, it's not coming up. That's one of the beauties of, of this plan is the sound, so I've got to get that going here. Let's uh, close that. There we go. All right, where do I want to hear the gameplay? I want to hear it here. There. Hopefully that works. Yay! Okay, so now I can turn up. I got an alert already. Okay. Come down. I don't know. We'll set the IRS position. Let that start aligning. Put in KJAC for now. Okay, I'm just going to mute that for a second. Press Alt Horn Cutout. Okay. Let's see. Alt horn cut out which I haven't done in a while that's right there the alt horn cut out didn't work that's okay though I'll mute it for a second I already broke it yeah exactly all right so we've done the IRS to nav we got our uh, we've got our oh uh, I get it no what is that noise? You need power. Oh, okay. Let's turn on the APU then. We'll get the APU going. Can't run on the battery for very long. Uh, ground power. Oh, okay. I could do the ground power. Yeah, we'll just get the APU going. Thank you. That makes sense. Are we upping our, are Josh and I upping our game to the Durka Durka category? <laughs> yeah, I've tried. Yeah. I love Durka. Turn on the ground power unit. Yeah, I won't turn on the ground power unit, but I understand that I normally would need to. But I'm, I'm just starting the APU. Gas isn't cheap, I know. Will the snow accumulate? I don't think so. But I could be wrong. At what point can I... At what point can I turn on the APU gens? I wonder. Probably when it says available, huh? But because uh, the EGT is now stabilizing down here, and see, I'm so used to like taking my scroll wheel and moving and moving around this, moving around this free. Hopefully, oh yeah, that's gonna work when I program the commands. 
Oh yeah, Chase Plane will get me through this. All right, so I'm gonna go APU Gens. Yeah, now I don't have that alarm. Okay, so back up here, we're gonna do Window Heat. Trim Air. Trim Air is on by default. It isn't falling enough to accumulate, okay. Yeah, Precipit FX is, I guess, is another one of those. I should have had this fuel pump on probably for the APU. Uh, APU bleed is on by default, which is different than the Zebo. Uh, emergency exit lights. We'll arm those. Well, let's get our ATC clearance. Uh, we'll come down here. And we'll do... Uh, we'll do perf first. Reserves will. Uh, what are our reserves? Reserves is two. Cost index. I heard Southwest always go 40, so Delta's going to mimic Southwest today. Uh, we're going to go at uh, 240. Just because it's a pretty short trip. Execute. Uh, and one. Oh, you know what? I also learned. Well, I'll do it in a bit. Hold on. Let's keep doing perf page. N1 limit. Uh, no D rate. We'll go flaps 5. Uh, runway here. Oh, that's the other thing. I gotta get four flight going. There it is. Run this little FSX flight to let it talk to four flight. I don't know what gate I'm at. I, I think three, maybe three. I think three. All right, we're gonna be taking off from runway one nine. So I'm gonna put in one nine in the runway. Oh, I guess I don't put runway 19 in there. I put that at probably in the nip page, sorry. Uh, route today will be KJAC to KSLC. And here I put in runway 19. And in, see, this is the thing. In the Zebo, you don't have to put this in for it to calculate the V speeds. Well, that's wrong. The Zebo has not yet implemented the ability to say okay runway runway 19 is x amount of length in order to calculate v speeds you need to know your your landing length right your runway length and josh taught me that yesterday so hope maybe that will come in the zebo at some point in the future all right uh route ENV shade is a great out. See, I got the Active Sky Cloud Art, and I also have Rex4 Texture Direct with Soft Cloud. So it's like, can you run both of those? Or I've heard you can, but some people prefer one over the other. It's a constant battle. Okay, route. Let's do departures. Well, we can go back to the init for a second and see if we have these speeds. Yep, we do. Cool. Okay, departure and arrival. You can put in a company route by going to Program Files, Lockheed Martin, Prepared, PMD. Okay, so that's what I downloaded from SimBrief. Should adjust HDR lights. Uh, you should only run ASCA. Ah, okay. I got to gather all these opinions. All right, departure uh, one nine. Oh, takeoff speed's deleted. Okay, route. We're actually going to go the first the first. Uh, point is Kickney, so K I C N E. I sound a little stuffy. That's route. Yeah, that's right. Kickney. And then I think we can do the LHO transition to the Nordic. So we'll go departures and arrivals. Uh, we're going to. I think we're going to fly past the airport and come back around and land 3 4, uh, three, four left. Uh, let's do the Nordic. 3-4-B. Uh, how do I get to the next page of transitions? Is there another page? 
Because I, I think there's supposed to be an LHO transition. I'll just put it in. I'll put it in here. L H O. Yeah. That one. It's Brigham City. Okay. And then we'll come back up here. And we'll do 3 4. Nordic. Yep. That looks good. Just, just one slash one for what? I forgot the question that I asked. Okay, so there's LHO. Okay, let's bring up LHO up here. Execute. Click execute, yeah, okay. All right, so Kickney, LHO, Cardic Nordic set. All right, I think we're good. There's a vector situation after Cedar. All right, I think that's good. So we'll go back over here to the perf page and we'll redo our our V speeds. Uh, no D rate. Okay, one three five, one three seven. There we go. Are we set? I think we're set. Top right corner tells you how many pages of options you have. At the time, you only had one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it tells you. All right, that makes sense. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now I know what you guys are saying with the one slash one. All right, FMC's program. Now this is kind of the fun part. So you can see here on the lower cam. I'll make it. I'll make it large for a moment. Um, boop. I'm gonna rotate. See how I'm rotating this on the MCP. Hopefully that rotates it into sim. Let's take a look. <laughs> I don't know how big I sh that should be. Uh, but here is, and can I zoom in? I know I can do middle mouse button. I'm going to rotate this up. Yay, it's working. So up to, what did I say? Two, I said 240, I think, right? Uh, I'm going to put in a heading of, of 190. I'm burning so much fuel on the ground. What do you guys normally set your speed to? I forget. <laughs> all right, so we're also going to turn on the flight director. That's working. Flight director on this side. That's all working beautifully. Thank you. Th I had to spend a lot of money to get that going. Extra software. All right, let's set the trim. Trim here in the init page shows... Oops, all right, hold on. 4.96. So if I come up here and then I use this little thing on hat switch. So used to X plane. <laughs> I can't zoom. 4.96. Oops, that, see, I just used the trim that I use in X plane. That don't work. So I got to do it a different way. So I come down here. I wish I could use the scroll wheel. Can you make chase plane? Scroll wheel is equals zoom. So now I have a different thing set up for. Okay, 4.96. That's about right. You usually set MCP to speed to V2. Okay. So in here, V2 is 143. So come back up here and we'll set that to 143 for now. I did copy a lot of Chewy's uh, views from Chase Plane. I copied a lot of his views, actually, so we'll, we'll test those out. I tested out a few there in, the, in uh, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, okay, so back to the overhead. Fuel pump's coming on. Hydraulics coming on. And a collision light on. And I guess we don't have better pushback plug-in. So I think we have to go menu, FS actions, uh, pushback. Uh, 130 is okay. Maybe we'll go 150. We'll just go straight back. And uh, ground cockpit. Captain. We're 
All set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Roger that. Ready for push. Power and air are clear. Doors closed. We are ready for pushback. Yeah, I don't have GSX. No. Use M and N keys for zoom. Okay. Because they're out of the way. All right. Push. I gotta make a note of that. M and N for zoom. What's your snow effects? Uh, I th think I think it's active sky that's doing the snow effects. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think it's active sky. You can make chase plane use the mouse to zoom, but I don't recommend it. it conflicts with plane knobs. Ah, okay. You need to press the scroll wheel button at the same time. Not as smooth as in XP. Okay. Now lock off in 7 and 1 to adjust trim. Ah, I see what you're doing there. Ooh, hopefully my plane doesn't go too far back. It might though, huh? No, it's okay. Push is complete. Set parking brake, please. Set parking brake, okay. Alright, brakes are set and uh, pressure's normal. Can you guys hear the... Okay, sir. Tow bar is on. Pin is out. Watch the camera. Ground crew talking. Alright guys, thanks. You're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Keto through. cover still one. Move from the ground menu. Oh. Is that right? Pedo covers removed. That might help us out. Alright, we normally would have done engine start at that point, but we were too excited about watching our pushback in the snow. Magical pushback with no tug, I know. It's like, yeah. It's not active sky, I have it, I don't get these snow effects. Uh. Well, what is this then? Is it default snow effects? I don't know. I know, Mega Mask, can you believe it? Alright, so we're coming up here. The packs are off, and uh, the bleed, APU bleed is on. Uh, let's see if I didn't screw things up. And we'll start engine one. I think it's starting. Still learning these snow effects, not standard and not AS. Uh, whew, is it Rex, maybe? Oh, I gotta add, have to add fuel. Their default to P3D. Ah. I like it. It looks good. This will be the first time I'll actually use uh, anti ice. <laughs> in a very, very long time. It's Precipit FX. Is it Precipit? Yes. No, I don't have Precipit. Precipit FX yet. I don't have it. I can't I, I spent so much money on this sim. I can't, uh... I should get the immersion pack. It's 29... 29 dollars on top of the two grand I've already spent. Uh, Nader here. I... In, you know what? Remind me in cruise to go over that. Um... Uh, I've spent I've spent so much. You feel like the plane audio is too loud? It's pretty loud right now. Let's go down here. Menu. PMDG setup options sound. Master volume is pretty low there. I'll just turn it down here for the time being. It's such a balance. All right, I think we have a good engine start there, so we'll come back up here and we'll start uh, number one. Tell me you didn't really spend 2K. I spent so much money on that. I'll have to, I'll tell you guys what I have, but 
Alright, there's 17, 18, 19, and 20. Add fuel. Sell copies of your ortho disc to finance your P3D adventures. Yeah, exactly. 